Hello campaigners and welcome to the Campaign Rundown Podcast. I am one of the co-hosts, John Bowes, and this is the podcast about election campaigns. Steve Darcy, my co-host, and I are putting the finishing touches on the first 10 episodes. But while you're waiting, I figured I'd share some of the content ideas we have um, and get you interested, and hopefully you'll sign up for the podcast. Um, So this first uh, tip is about voter engagement. Now, um, in modern campaigns, Technology makes it possible for you to always be engaging voters. It's important to remember that you don't want to have a basically one direction conversation. You want to make sure that you're pulling voters in and getting them involved with your campaign. Um, Now, when you're developing this strategy for your campaign, you start off with the message narrative. This is the story you're going to tell about your campaign or your candidate. It starts with the day you kick off the campaign and finishes off with an election night victory party. And you're basically going to tell a story about why people should vote for you, starting with introductions, moving through to the issues, (coughs) and then finishing off with your closing arguments. Now, in order to get that message out to people, you're going to need to create a communication plan. Which methods of communication are you using? Are you doing mailers, radio, TV spots? Are you going to do social media stuff, emails, person-to-person contact? What is your communication plan? A part of the message narrative and the communication plan is to have what are called call to actions. These are where you engage with the voter. And these call to actions break down into two groups with four types of call to actions. The first group is initial engagement. This type of call to action is what you send to a voter when they don't know you. So in the early part of the campaign, you're sending out introduction videos, first contact mailers, you're doing radio spots. You want to make sure that your call to actions are either, number one, a pledge to support you in the election, or number two, a find out more information. Because voters are going to initially know who you are because of other things you've done, or be interested in you and want to find out more information. So the way you do this is you have a call to action that says, hey, please go to my website, da 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 da, slash pledge support. If you don't know who I am, please go to my website slash get involved. Now, you do it much better, a lot more grace to that message. But once you've got that initial contact and voters are knowing, starting to know who you are, you have the second call, uh, sorry, second contact call to actions. And these two call to actions are donate, volunteer. Very important. You do not want to start by asking people for money. It just turns off voters immediately. Also, asking people to volunteer before they know who you are, a little bit pretentious. So you make your first contact and you engage them with a, I would like more information, or yes, I'm with you, I would like to pledge my support for your campaign. Once they've gone past that engagement, you then follow up with asks for money and ask for volunteer. Most times your actual volunteer, your, I'm sorry, your voter base uh, will engage with you and become supporters and divide themselves into two groups, donors and volunteers. And of course you have voters, which are the most important part. So those are call to actions, ways to engage your voters. We have a lot more about this. We're going to talk about automating this process. We're going to talk about email funnels, mailer funnels, how to do radio ads, how to do TV ads, whether you should actually do them and social media, which has become a huge tool, how to use it. If you are interested, please go to our website. You can see this tip and other tips like it, bows3.com. And, of course, uh, we have our preview episode up there. It's at bows3.com slash preview. If you'd like to find out more about this actual program, go to bows3.com slash subscribe, and we will put you on the mailing list. And, of course, this is a supporter-funded podcast. So if you want to help us get this kicked off, please consider going to patreon.com slash bows3pod. Uh, you can donate on a monthly basis or weekly basis, yearly basis, one time, whatever you want to do, we'd appreciate the support. So uh, that is one of our tips. We have a lot of content coming out and I look forward to seeing you. Um, this is John Bose. I'll see you on the campaign trail.